बाट वेल्ड एंड रट फिटिंग लाइक एलबो टी रिड्यूसार आर भेरि कमनलि यूज आईटेम इन एनी पाइपिंग सिसटेम द टर्म रट फिटिंग मीन्स द फिटिंग हुईच इज मेड आफ्टर ए फर्मिंग अपारेशन एंड उल नट हाव एनी सार्कामफेरसियल और इंटरसेकशनल ओएल जयंट रट फिटिंग कैन बी अफ सीमलेस टाइप कैन बी अफ वेल्डेड टाइप सीमलेस टाइप अफ रट फिटिंग इज मेड फ्रम सीमलेस फाइव एंड वेल्डेड टाइप अफ रट फिटिंग इज मेड फ्रम मोस्टलि प्लेट्स बै प्रेस्ट एंड वेल्डेड मेथड बाट रट फिटिंग उल नट हाव एनी सार्कामफेरसियल एंड इंटरसेकशनल ओएल जयंट इफ एनी सार्कामफेरसियल और इंटरसेकशनल ओएल जयंट इज देयर देन इट इज कल्ड फाइव फेब्रिकेशन एंड नट रट फिटिंग वेल्डेड टाइप अफ रट फिटिंग उल हाव जयंट बाट दैट इज नट सार्कामफेरसियल दैट उल बी लंगिट्यूटिनल ओएल जयंट now you can see picture of two t pieces left side t is a rod fittings which has been made by forming operation and does not have any circumferential weld joint but right side t is having circumferential weld joint at branch connection that's why right side t is not a rod fittings it is a branch welded t that means pipe fabrication this type of t can be made at site also need not be purchased Similarly, you can see picture of a, a elbow also. Left side elbow is a form fittings, that means rod fittings. But right side elbow is a mitre. It is made by circumferential oil joints. Similarly, reducer also. Left side reducer is a form reducer or rod fittings. Does not have any circumferential joint. But right side reducer is fabricated. that means having several intersectional or segmental segmental weld joint and another reducer eccentric reducer left side reducer is a rod fittings made by forming operation but uh, right side reducer is a fabricated reducer uh, intersectional segmental joint is there that's why it is a side fabricated uh, reducer and uh, not a rod fittings now material and dimensional standard of batwell rod fittings like elbow t and reducer for carbon steel seamless rod fittings most commonly used material is astma 234 grade wpb for seamless rod fittings and for welded rod fittings material grade is wpb w similarly for stainless steel rod fittings material grade is wp304 or 304l and for welded stainless steel rod fittings material grade is wp304 w304 lw like that for alloy steel also astma 234 grade wp1 wp9 like that for aluminum it is astm b24150830 for seamless and astm b209508304 welded for monel also uh, astm b366 wpnc and dimensional standard of these rod bar weld fittings is asme b16.9 it covers fittings from half inch to 48 inch that means 15 mm nb to 1200 mm nb now we will see how rod fittings are manufactured and what are the raw materials for carbon steel seamless rod fittings raw material is carbon steel seamless pipe as per astm a106 grade b or api 5l grade b for stainless steel seamless rod fittings material is ss seamless pipe as per astm a312 tp304 or 304l for alloy steel seamless rod fittings raw material is alloy steel seamless pipe as per astm a335 grade grade p1 p11 or p22 for welded rod fittings uh, materials are uh, for carbon steel it is cs plates as per astm a515 grade 60 or 70 or 516 grade 60 or 70 and fittings are made by pressed and welded method for stainless steel uh, welded rod fittings raw material is stainless steel plate as per astma 240 tp304 304l like that this picture indicates how seamless elbows are manufactured this is a long mandrel or die and end of the die 
is inside the furnace and end of the die is one size bigger. This is the furnace. To manufactured seamless elbow, seamless pipe pieces are placed one after another on this mandrel and all the pipe pieces are pressed from this side through a hydraulic ram so that one after another pipe pieces are converted to elbow. Main forming operation takes place here and elbows are produced. So to get uh, 12 inch elbow, 10 inch pipe is used. To get 6 inch elbow, 4 inch seamless pipe is used like that. This picture indicates how seamless reducers are produced from seamless pipe. This is one die, lower die. This die is of inner hollow portion like reducer and this is upper die, solid die having outer portion as like reducer and this is the pipe piece. This pipe piece is heated inside the furnace then placed over this die and then placed by this die. So main forming operation takes place in this die and the, the shape of this pipe is converted to the shape of reducer. This picture indicates how seamless teas are manufactured from seamless pipe. This is one die, lower die, having hole corresponds to branch size of the tea and this is upper die. Uh, hot pipe piece is placed over this lower die and pressed by upper die then the tea is produced in stages. Seamless teas are manufactured in 3-4 stages inside the die. Uh, in first stage after the pressing of die, uh, pipe shape becomes like this that means small branch comes out here then this piece taken out and after cooling or quenching again it is heated up and then again placed inside the die so that the branch becomes more then again this piece is taken out and cooled down or quenched then after heating again it is placed inside the die so that the branch now becomes more and after cutting this branch then uh, tea is formed from this picture you can see how tea is manufactured in between two dies we have already seen how seamless elbow, seamless reducer and seamless teas are manufactured. Now this is a picture for manufacturing welded tea, pressed and welded tea. This is the die. Plate is placed over this die and pressed by the upper die so that the plate takes shape of 50% of the tea. Again another piece of plate is placed over the die and pressed so that another 50% is made. Then this longitudinal joint and this longitudinal joint is welded so that it becomes a welded T. And this longitudinal joint and this longitudinal joints are 100% radiographed. So there is no circumferential joint only longitudinal joint is there and forming operation is done by this pressed and welded method. Similar pressed and welded method is applicable for manufacturing pressed and welded elbow also and pressed and welded reducers also. Now you can see a pressed and welded large diameter rod T. This is the longitudinal weld joint of that rod T this side and uh, another longitudinal weld joint is on other side this side also you can see from inside and uh, this is the that joint from inside so this is a big uh, rod t but in welded construction so you can see one branch welded t this is actually pipe fabrication you can see the branch welding this is not a rod fittings can see one large diameter big elbow pressed and welded elbow this side one long seam weld joint is there and also on the other side another uh, long seam weld joint is there this is that uh, other side long seam weld joint this is that joint 
and uh, this is a big size paste and welded rod fittings so you can clearly see the difference between a rod fittings a rod t like this and a branch welded t like this this type of branch welded t can be fabricated at site also need not be purchased this type of branch welded t is weak also in this branch there will be huge stress concentration due to say one rod t as per stma 234 grade wpv and dimensions as per acvb 16.9 actually we want to purchase this type of rod t only but sometimes you see that vendor has supplied this type of branch welded t although we have specified rod fittings or rod t this type of branch welding can be done at site also and this type of branch welded t is not at all a rod fittings this is a pipe fabrication so if we don't specify it properly then vendor will supply this type of branch welded t and this type of branch welded t will have huge stress concentration at this branch also and uh, this type of branch may fail also at site now testing and inspection requirement of uh, bar weld rod fittings like uh, identification of raw material verification of mill tc then witness of tensile stress then 100 percent radiography requirement for welded fittings review of heat treatment record and uh, rod fittings are uh, need not be hydro tested all apart from inspection and testing requirement there are some other mandatory additional requirements are also there for uh, seamless and uh, welded rod fittings particularly for uh, welded rod fittings on welding on filler material on heat treatment requirement then on uh, other requirements also like repair of welding etc this is one picture of few large diameter tees we had ordered these tees as rod fittings as per stma 234 grade wpp dimensions as per asav 16.9 but vendor has supplied us a branch welded tee you can see this is the branch welding and this is the branch welding and vendor has done the branch so smoothly that uh, you will not be able to see unless you see it minutely that means vendor is cheating us they have taken us price for a rod fittings but they have just supplied a branch welded fittings this type of branch welded t is very weak also and moreover this type of branch welded t can be made at site also so we will have to be very careful while specifying uh, these rod fittings. We should indicate in the specification that branch welded tees are not acceptable. It should be rod fittings or form fittings or pressed and welded fittings in two hubs. I think I have clearly explained various type of rod fittings including their manufacturing processes. So we will have to be very careful while specifying any rod fittings, otherwise vendor will simply supply us branch welded or fabricated fittings as a rod fittings.